It was a stunning moment captured on TV, an Iraqi journalist hurling his shoes at former President George W. Bush during a joint press conference with Iraq's prime minister. The reporter whipped his shoes one by one toward the president's head while calling him a dog. Bush quickly ducked and was unhurt. The reporter was convicted of assault, and after nine months in prison, he's to be released on Monday. The shoe-throwing incident propelled him to iconic status, and he was widely celebrated. Many feel his act of protest encapsulated their own bitterness over the war and U.S. occupation. Parties and music are planned at his family's home in Baghdad. Here, his brother hangs a poster of him. It reads, release the man who restored Iraqi's pride. The 30-year-old reporter was a virtual unknown working for a minor TV network, but now has undeniable star power and is contemplating his future. His brother says he might quit journalism and work in a humanitarian organization or become an activist for women's and orphans' rights. His employer, however, is certain he'll return to work. Here, his chair and computer remain untouched, awaiting his return. Colleagues hang his picture. The Iraqi channel has continued to pay his salary during his time in prison and even bought him a new house. However, some question how he'll be able to work again as a journalist in Iraq, where government officials offended by his moment of rage are inclined to avoid him. Myra Lopez, The Associated Press.